Hey guys, it's Lisa here. In today's video, I'm going to show all of you how to insert a customized Google Form header. So I know a lot of you have been reaching out, you've been asking how to customize the headers on, on different Google Suite tools. So today's video is going to show you how to do that in Google Forms. So I have a form here that I had pulled up already. Okay, next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm going to wanna take a look at whatever image that I'm going to want to upload as the, the header here. Okay, so I have already done this one here. The next step that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to save this to your computer. So I'm gonna come over here to file, and I'm gonna download it, download as a JPEG. Okay, from there, it's there, it's on my computer. Next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to go into my photos, because I wanted to upload to my photos. When I uploaded it as a regular image, for whatever reason, it wasn't showing up in my options. So this is what I had to do. You might be able to just upload it from images in your regular drive. Okay, from here, I'm gonna go to upload. Obviously, I'm gonna select my computer. Okay, and then I'm gonna check my downloads, because I know that that's where it went. And here it is. So I'm gonna double click that and it's going to pop up as an option here. Okay, and I refreshed and here it is, perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my Google Form, okay, and now I'm gonna to wanna to insert this. So if I come up here and I click the little palette, okay, it looks like an, uh, a painter's palette, it says customize theme, that's what I'm gonna click on. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose, um, click on here where it says choose image, okay? Now they have a lot of stock images that you can choose from here. There's a bunch of different themes, okay, that you can you can search for. And obviously those are there and they're, they're ready for you to use. However, I wanna use my, my scene from my Bitmoji. So I'm going to then go to photos and you see it pops up right here. It's my first option. So I'm just gonna, Double click that, make sure everything is good. If not, you can always resize this. Okay, you do have a little bit of editing option here. And then I'm gonna click done. And there it is, okay? So you can put this on the top. You can include the little whiteboard if you would like as well. I'll put the, the link to my, my clip art catalog in the comments down below. You want to access i have a lot of backgrounds and flower pots bookshelves desks i mean really anything that you can think of there's a lot of stuff there and that's free for you to all use but this is just a cute way to spice up your google forms okay personalize them like i said you can leave a little message up here with directions in it it's just something to to make it more engaging and and fun for your students and that's what this is all about okay um just just also quick if you wanted to change the colors here, I can change my background color, okay? And look at that, it looks like a completely different page. I hope this video helped all of you. If you have questions, feel free to comment below, but please, as always, do not forget to like my video and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss notifications for my videos to come. Take care, everyone.